Hey, let's talk about batteries. Today, I wanna to talk to you about lithium iron phosphate batteries. This is one of the most common and popular chemistries currently. And the reason is because it's safe and it's very long lasting, right? And so even though it's not the cheapest chemistry right now, it probably will become in due time because of its popularity. And so there's, there's gonna be more and more abundant, right? Now, it's not a new technology. These lithium iron phosphate was some of my first batteries that I ended up using in my car about 10 years ago, right? But the problem is that they were kind of big and they were kind of heavy for cars. And so that's why we, uh, we all made the jump to uh, NMC chemistries for our applications, right? And so NMCs are more popular, everything uses NMC, and so that's why those are currently the cheapest. But lithium iron phosphate is the way to go if you're looking, uh, moving forward, looking for battery, right? And so we have some at Jack 35 that we have been developing for the last six months. And at this point now, we have pretty much like complete line of these batteries, right? We have a 12 volt, 50 amp hour pack, and then we have a 12 volt, 100 amp hour, which is, uh, in part with like some of the most popular uh, batteries right now. It's a 12 volt, 100 amp hours. It's about 1200 watt hours. Now we also expanded to 24 volts, 50 amp hours, and then a 48 volt, 50 amp hours. Of course, we don't sell that one. If you've seen the video, we you have to actually get the board yourself, and then you would have to put two of the 24 volt batteries and put them together. But there is a way you can do it and you can get the, the stuff, right? So these are A123 system cells and they are very, very capable, high quality cells that can put, output like about a hundred amps without heating up, right? So they're very power cells, even though they come from an energy storage application, right? So they use a power, a cell that it was just powerful enough to be used as a power cell, but they're using it for storage, right? Um, and all of these, uh, throughout our testing, they have, they're coming out about 100% uh, capacity still left in them. So what happens is that this product that these come out of um, was implemented and was put in people's homes and very soon, I mean, very soon within like a year or maybe two years, they became obsolete because there's a newer, better product that came out. And so now what's happening is that they're the, currently decommissioning of all of these uh, battery systems, right? And But these battery systems are very long lasting. They have 6,000 cycles, you know, between four and 6,000 cycles, depending on how you use them. And so like within one year, you know, less than 24 months, you're decommissioning already. So but what's happening is that when we get them, they're still, you know, 99% of their life is still on, you know, available for these. And so it would be a shame to process them and recycle them or destroy them, right? And so that's why we took the mission to basically design PCB so that we can use them in the standard volts, right? Like 12 and 24 and 48, uh, and then design BMSs so that they're kind of ready, like to use batteries, right? They're still DIY but they're very close to just, you know, plug and play kind of thing. And so that's the reason that we are offering this. Now, I made a video about these about six months ago when I started the development of this, but I feel like not a lot of people saw that video. I have videos on YouTube that get millions and millions of views. Uh, this one is not one of them. And so that's the reason why I'm making another one six months into the development of this. Now we are getting really good at making them, at processing them and testing them. And so now we, our output is, is growing, right? And so now I, I feel like I have to kind of put make another video and show them to you and be like, hey, these are here. They are a great deal. Here's how good of a deal they are. Uh, the cheapest lithium iron phosphate batteries out there is about $300 a kilowatt hour right now. And those obviously include a BMS in there, right? Well, we're selling these without a BMS at $100 a kilowatt hour. And then, you know, we are offering the BMS system so that people can put it together and then install them. And it's very easy to install. You just put a thing in there and put screws and you connect the little connectors. And so almost anybody can do it, right? And so our price, it's about half, about $150 a kilowatt hour once you put the BMS. So we are about 50% of what the market value is for these batteries. And so that's why it's such a good deal. And that's why I think everybody should be looking at these, right? Or at least, you know, capable people that are not afraid to DIY uh, battery systems, right? 
And so what kind of applications can you use these? Well, you can use them for storage, like the product that they are coming from. But also because they're high quality A123 cells that are capable of 100 amps, you could also use them for like audio systems, like uh, automotive audio systems. Uh, like let's say you want a thousand amps out of a system, right? Well, you could get five of the 12 volt, 100 amp hours and those you connect them in parallel and you can get a thousand amps continuous off of these, right? So they're very, very powerful. Uh, the audio people have not discovered them. So, so they are not, you know, buying them all right now, but they probably will in the future, right? Um, what else can you use them for? Well, golf carts, that's another question that we get a lot, you know, it's like, can, can we replace our golf cart battery and get better performance? And the answer is yes. Yeah, you can get probably about twice the distance by losing about half the weight and, uh, and you'll increase the lifetime by more than tenfold, right? So those are applications that you could use. There's a bunch of different ones, trolling motors, people are using some, right? They're figuring out ways to make them uh, water resistant or waterproof and then put them on their little boats and they're, and they're finding out that they're lighter, easier to carry into the boat. And then, uh, well, they, they are getting more runtime out of them, right? Because they're, they're, they're just bigger batteries. So I'm not completely done designing these systems, right? I still have a few more, like maybe design a, a BMS for the 48 volt one and maybe uh, do a few more diagrams to help people better understand how to connect uh, DIY BMS systems into these right and so we're still kind of still developing but we're there like we're 90 percent done with what we're going to do with these batteries and from here on we're just going to sell them but they are currently in special for the sorry cyber monday uh black friday cyber monday uh sale right and so if you are looking to get some good quality batteries at a discounted price these are it you know you're not going to find cheaper lithium iron phosphate that are high quality right a123 systems that they're very capable batteries and and so if you're in the market they're going to be at jack35.com hopefully this video doesn't get so many views that that by the time you see them and then click on the video they're going to be sold out right hopefully we are able to keep them in stock uh as we haven't been able in the last six months they're being hard because enough people have seen them but at this point now we caught up with demand and that we're increasing and which is great to that we did that right before the sale and stuff. And so there you go. This is another battery uh, that you should have in, in your radar and you should be looking at it. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for all your support. And we will be seeing you in the next video. Bye.